as kids, we always we were familiar with the just the typical guitars, like the the strats and the tellies, mm. you know, because it, you just have a rudimentary knowledge of guitars, and then to see all these different models, which which had actually been discontinued by the nineties, mm. or like definitely were much less common. We saw Kurt playing a, a Mustang, and it just looked like the weirdest. You couldn't figure out yeah. what it was. Oh, then we saw like that Jazzmaster, uh, you know, the Jazzmaster LE hung in like a shop window. It's like this, like and huge, the jazz, like... yeah, it looked so. The Jazzmaster looked so big and grand with it. It, it was a limited edition with a gold, gold hardware. And so, all of a sudden, we realised there's all these like different kind of weirdo guitars. I used the Palm Shop Mustang exactly like this. Actually, the. Late classic blue. I have the um, the Pawn Shop Mustang and the Venus are the two guitars that I use uh, mainly. Like when the Cribs first started, I used to use vintage Mustangs, seventies ones, because of the amount of touring we do. We were pretty hard on our guitars, and said, so, "Yeah, we, we've stopped taking vintage stuff out." So it was really cool. Like Ryan got the Pawn Shop Mustang. It became like a like a workhorse guitar for you, didn't it? Yeah, like, if there's one thing that I can say about the uh, this guitar is it's like, it's super reliable, like really hard wearing. Bass 6 was like something of a legend for us. It was a guitar that um, we'd, we'd sort of fetishized for years. It was one of those things we were always looking for the, those like offset fenders that they used to make years ago that had fall, you know, that you, you never saw. Yeah, we were really fascinated with it, and then when we found out what it did, we found out it was like a six-string bass. It was kind of like a guitar. It, it it became the the instrument that me and Ryan argue over all the time because Johnny had one. Like when when we started playing with Johnny Ma, we would just jam on it at his house, and we wrote a bunch of songs on the fourth record on the on the baritone. We've actually just got one of the palm shot ones as well now, so we've got one each. Which I actually prefer this to the '90s reissue. I think. This one's like maybe more like a, a, a refined and updated version. Like the the addition of the Jazzmaster pickups, cool too. Personally, like the the Pawn Shop series of Fender guitars more than I've like a lot of Fenders that have come out in recent years. It's definitely my favourite uh, period for Fender for quite a long time. Yeah. They're almost in the same vein as those like Mavericks and Swingers, where they would take like guitars that already existed and just modify them so they became a new thing. To us that's what that's what we're into. We're not like I said we're not purists. Yeah. We don't, we're not really so much into the conventional models. We like the weird stuff. Plus we've always taken it like we've always taken our guitars and modded them ourselves anyway, you know, like whether it's like switching pickups out and stuff like that and making like weird hybrids and stuff. So it just seems cool to me. It just seems cool.